Hey guys, welcome back to Electrico Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys. If you have a BMW guys X1 and you smell gasoline in your cabin, your car smells like gasoline or under the, uh, the hood guys, the engine compartment smells like gasoline. We'll explain the top four reasons that can cause that. And one of those is very hidden. So make sure you stand till the end. We'll share guys very helpful information. If you smell gas, most likely you have a gasoline leak guys. And that could be very dangerous. It can lead to catching your car on fire and that could be catastrophic so uh, we'll cover the top four places where we see BMW to develop a, a, a gasoline leak and cause gasoline smell under the hood so make sure you stay until the end before we start let me tell you one thing every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos and why we do that because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys if you need to buy any parts tools anything like that check out the link in the description of the video below you can see where we get all our parts from and you can find parts for your BMW X1 as well guys so uh, let me show you what we have here specifically we have a six cylinder gasoline engine but even if you have a four cylinder procedure will be about the same uh, this is the six cylinder engine guys it's based on N52 N53 four engine so it's been used in multiple BMWs and we're specifically making it on this BMW because many of you guys requested that information for BMW X1 and there is actually guys very limited information so uh, before we start let me tell you one thing quick check this channel out how to repair guys this is our main channel and we have helped more than 75 million people we have information that can save you thousands of dollars guys so subscribe we are constantly growing that channel so doesn't matter which uh, engine you have four six cylinder engine guys most BMWs will use that design and that's why we are making the video today so number one thing to look check your fuel line you may have different style of fuel lines, you may have the direct fuel injections, we'll explain about that as well. But uh, the fuel line usually, if you have direct fuel injection, you will have a fuel line coming to the high pressure fuel pump that will be sitting on top of the, uh, on top of the valve cover. Ours is uh, not direct fuel injection. Uh, but uh, you will have a fuel line like that that actually uh, you will need to disconnect okay and often people will damage these lines because they don't know how to disconnect them and you have one o-ring on the inside that prevents leaks as well and that sometimes even gets old and cracks and uh, starts leaking so we have a special video that explains how to remove fuel lines and how to safely uh, do that without damaging them guys so you can develop a fuel leak on this line right here where it connects to the fuel injectors or the high pressure fuel pump or you can develop a fuel uh, a fuel line leak okay uh, that fuel line actually goes under the intake manifold and it connects to the fuel line that comes from the fuel tank number two guys okay if you have regular fuel injections like we do the one that mounts to the cylinder head the intake manifold right here uh, you have o-rings on your fuel injectors o-rings one on top where it touches to the fuel rail one on the bottom where it touches to the cylinder head these o-rings they fail and they can develop a leak if you have direct fuel injections your injectors will be actually mounted okay in the middle of the valve cover and those fuel injectors okay often can develop a leak where they attach to the cylinder head and usually you have a screw type uh, connector on top that can get loose sometimes and you have the high pressure fuel pump that can develop a leak as well in many vehicles guys you may have okay uh, you may have a port where you can check your fuel rail pressure and you can see if everything's working correctly or not and uh, you have a needle on the inside okay and that needle right here okay it's a valve if it starts leaking okay dripping fuel that can cause gasoline smell as well now another thing that's actually one of the most common ones that we see here at the shop is a bad purge valve guys what is a purge valve purge valve is that special device okay Modern vehicles are made not to release fuel vapors in the atmosphere. First, because you kill the atmosphere. Second, because you lose fuel and your car is not efficient. Now, the purge control valve, what it does, or also known as purge valve solenoid, uh, it lets the fumes from the fuel tank, the gasoline fumes, vapors, to be injected in the intake manifold of your car that way they will not go in the atmosphere but they will burn through the engine they will give you extra power you will lose uh, you you will uh, use less fuel and you will not lose fuel so often guys depending on the engine and stuff okay uh, it will be mounted under the uh, often it will be located somewhere around the intake manifold ours is under the throttle body and we have a special video that explains how to remove and replace it i'll try to put the link in the description of the video below 
So we have another engine here guys that we uh, actually replaced not too long ago and on that engine you can see that uh, this is what the purge valve looks like. You have two lines, one coming from the fuel tank, one going from the purge valve to the intake manifold usually. And uh, often guys, uh, it's known also as a vacuum leak. You can, uh, one of those lines, they break sometimes, they crack because of all the heat from the engine that uh, it produces. They dry out and they crack. So if you have a leaking pipe, leaking hose, uh, always check them for leaks or this disconnected holes from the uh, from the purge valve actually the fuel fuel vapors from the fuel tank will be released under the hood instead of inside the engine and that will cause quite a bit of a gasoline smell so those are guys the top things that we see here at the shop uh, hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time